Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of the vibrant city of Freetown, Sierra Leone. Let's go. As always, I'm gonna be showing you trip highlights such as things to do, must see places to visit, accommodations, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how I flew to Sierra Leone using credit card points and miles. So first, you can't even talk about Freetown without talking about their beautiful beaches. The beach closest to the city is Lumley Beach. This long strip of beach is where everything goes down. Not only because you can swim or relax at the beach, but also this is where you're going to find tons of restaurants, bars, and nightlife. This area is literally a couple minutes walking distance from the most popular hotels. So chances are, if you're visiting Freetown, you'll be staying in this area. Some of my favorite restaurants on this trip were Pearl Restaurant, which had a relaxing atmosphere and some pretty good food. and also Mamba Point Hotel. This hotel and restaurant also had the best nightclub in the city, but we'll get into that later. Now closer to the city center is where all the best restaurants are. Restaurants like Roof Garden, which was my favorite. You have the Hub Hotel, and also the Swiss Hotel. Now there were many restaurants throughout the city, but these were just a few that I liked not only because of the good food, but also the vibe. The average meal at a touristy restaurant during my stay cost around $13 per person. And the average meal at a local restaurant cost about $7. And of course, you can also grab some street food for only a couple bucks. All right, moving back to the beaches, the most fun beach was definitely River Number Two Beach. Just 18 miles from the city center, River Number Two Beach is a beautiful beach with lots of areas to sit, relax, and hang out. They also have small huts on the beach if you and your friends want some privacy. Throughout the day and most of the night, the beach has a DJ playing all the top hits. If you visit the beach on Sunday nights, they have a bonfire going, music, and fireworks. I had a great time there. Another beach in Freetown is Lakai Beach. This beach was much less crowded during the weekdays, and because of that, it's much more relaxing. They have different restaurants on the beach where you can have some food and drinks while you soak up some sun. There was also this cool abandoned building that you can explore and get a great view of the entire beach. Now the last beach I visited was Toke Beach. An hour from the city center, this was the furthest beach I visited. If you're looking for privacy, as well as peace and quiet, then this is the beach for you. Like all the others, Toke Beach has different restaurants that you can eat at, as well as a beautiful resort. One thing about all the beaches in Freetown is that the water is very warm and enjoyable. Every single beach I visited in the city was great. You can't go wrong with any of them. Now as far as nightlife, Freetown definitely doesn't disappoint. As I was saying earlier, Mamba Point Hotel has the best nightclub in the city, and that's Scarlet Lounge. The setup was nice, the DJ was excellent, and it was a really good atmosphere. 
Freetown has excellent weather almost year round and the club was outdoors overlooking Lumley Beach. Another good night spot was Mam's Beach Bar. This was another club that overlooked the beach. Some nights they had live music in a chill environment. And on the weekends, people party hard. Also, Thursday nights is reggae night where you can find different night spots playing your favorite reggae hits. Now my primary mode of transportation around the city was in what they call a KK. This is a motorized three-wheel taxi. The KK fits around three passengers and to catch one, you just hold out your hand and the driver will pull over and pick you up. A typical one-way trip to most places around the city will cost you about $1 or less. Now chances are you'll be sharing a ride with a stranger, which was cool with me, but if you pay a little extra, the driver won't pick up any other passengers during your ride. You can also catch a ride on the back of a motorcycle for even less. Freetown also has a lot of interesting things to do, like checking out the Chimpanzee Sanctuary. One of the sponsors of the sanctuary was the Columbus Zoo, which is in my home city, so I thought that was pretty cool. During this visit, you'll be taking a hike through the woods where the sanctuary is located. While on the tour, you'll learn about the sanctuary's history, as well as loads of information about the chimpanzees. While in Freetown, I definitely recommend taking a trip up to Lester's Peak and get some awesome views of the city. If you're traveling from Lumley Beach, it's only a 10 minute ride to the peak and the view is well worth it. If you're up for it, there are loads of markets where you can do some shopping. This particular market was called PZ. The market was super busy, but it was fun being out and about in the busy city center. Another thing that I noticed is there were a lot of weddings going on all over the city. I even crashed this wedding. This was my first time attending a Muslim wedding ceremony and I learned a lot about the cultures and traditions. I even got a photo with the bride. I had a blast in Freetown, Sierra Leone, one of the most fun cities I've visited. Good food, great beaches, friendly people, and perfect weather. I'll definitely be back. Now let's take a look at how much I paid for my flight and hotel. So when I travel, I fly using credit card points and miles. My round trip flight from Dallas, Texas to Freetown, Sierra Leone cost me 88,000 city thank you points. I earned these points through my City Prestige and City Premier cards. If you're interested in learning about either of these cards, I'll leave some links for you. The City Prestige isn't available for new applicants, but the City Premier is. The airport is on a small island right outside of Freetown. You'll have to take a boat to get to the mainland. The airport staff will show you exactly where you need to go to get to the boats, which is right across the street from the airport. The boat ride costs about $40 one way and takes 30 minutes to cross. As far as my hotel accommodations, I stayed 12 nights at the Radisson Blue at a cost of $105 per night. Since I booked this stay through Hotels.com, I received one night free earned from previous stays through the Hotels.com loyalty program. Again, I highly recommend visiting Freetown Sierra Leone. I had a great time. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments section. If you want to check out some other trips I've taken using credit card points and miles, you can check out the links on the screen. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.